What is up guys, Hedgehog Rider back again with another speed draw, coming at you from the floor because I don't have the best of mics right now, so I'm using my camera as a mic, which is set on a tripod, which is on the floor, so I am on the floor with it. So, why don't we go ahead and get into this, um, uh, if you know my work online, I do a line called Chibi Ride, which is essentially um, exactly uh, what, it, what it sounds like. Uh, I do different chibi forms for uh, whether it be Kamen Rider or Super Sentai or Power Rangers, I'll put them up on the screen now. Uh, even Ultraman, you do more Ultraman. Um, but uh, I wanted to do one this time on the Power Rangers Wild Force uh, Battleizer, which the name, the actual name escapes me. Uh, whenever I think about Battleizers, I just think of, you know, season name Battleizer. Uh, I don't really uh, remember the the actual name itself as well, which is. A shame, but uh, <laughs> I just wanted to do the Wild Force Battleizer because at the time of this recording, I'm still watching Wild Force. I um, I picked up the Shout Factory full series um, from a store uh, near me just because. Can I just say the Shout Factory DVDs are really, really nice. They, they really are. Um, I have right now I have Wild Force, Zeo, and In Space. Zeo and In Space only have Volume Two for because uh, I, I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't actually paying as well. As much attention when I was buying them, I was just like, "Oh snap! It's freaking they got Power Rangers in here! What?" Uh, I got them from Ollie's, and freaking they just had like a bunch of blue DVDs, and I didn't really look at the the volume, but uh, they're really, really nice releases. You can just get the whole series for like ten dollars or whatever. Oh, that's how much I got it for. Anyway, I'm going off topic. Uh, I wanted to do the Battleizer because I. Had, uh, I drew. I actually drew this right when I got to the uh, debut episode, and it is so cool looking. Uh, Wild Force's Battleizer might actually be. I don't want to say. You know, it might actually be my favorite, at least for this moment. My favorite Battleizer always changes up. I really like the Ninja Storm one, uh, and the Dino Thunder one. The Dino Thunder Battleizer always hits me because I grew up with Dino Thunder. That is uh, my favorite season. Uh, that, that's the season of my childhood. I, I had uh, a lot of toys from it. I used to watch it all the time. I had the White Thunder uh, VHS tape that I would play nonstop until it stopped working on the uh, VCR. Uh, and I just thought that it just looked so cool and it was a neat addition to Triassic. But I, um, the Wild Force Battleizer is just so well designed from the, from the gold to the, to the giant orb that's in the center. To the, to the wings, it's it's just so nice to look at, and uh, I, I'm actually not too far away from the debut episode of it right now. I The last episode I watched was, I believe last week, I did the uh, the Wild Force and Time Force crossover, which I haven't seen Time Force just yet, but I wanted to watch it just because it's Time Force and it's a crossover, and the, the, the PR crossovers are, are always uh, pretty fun, at least in my opinion. Uh, so that was a cool crossover, um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just a really nice form to look at. I um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I <laughs> that, that's about it. Um, so unfortunately for this one, I did do a background for this for this artwork. The only thing is, I didn't record it because a lot of the times with the chibi rides, I don't tend to record the backgrounds mainly because I don't think about the backgrounds while I'm doing it. A lot of the times, I just sort of improv. And then I, I, I had like a dots and I had sparkles and I had stripes and stuff like that. But for this one, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do. Uh, because the first thing that came to my mind is um, I, I've been thinking about doing a lot of Wild Force artwork. And I wanted to do one for Max and Danny because I love their dynamic in the show. I just never give up. Uh, so I had a bunch of things in my head for that. Uh, you know, like like uh, like them doing like a back-to-back arms crossed and then Zords coming out the back. I might still do that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I've been thinking about that for a couple weeks now. Uh, but that one didn't really have a background in mind. So for this one, I was also thinking about doing the Animaria uh, Kingdom, like in the back, like or, or the base. The base where like Shayla comes out of the fountain and it's all, you know, it's sort of rocky and it has a bunch of trees and stuff and it has, it's, it's all, it has light coming from, down from the top. I wanted to do that and I also wanted to, I was also thinking about doing uh, a background with the Zords in the background, like with the Wild Zords just looking at uh, Cole while he was just standing there looking all cool with his with his hands up and his claws. Uh, but at the same time, I, I just like I don't I don't really think this needs too much. 
And in the end, I just made like a big jungle background, which you'll see at the end of the video. I will still post the uh, the the finished version at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I didn't record the background, uh, and that that'll also be for. Actually, no, I think. So I, I <laughs> I'm, I'm going like all over the place in my brain right now, just just rambling on. So I, I bear with me. <laughs> uh, I also recorded. I did a drawing of Ultraman Jeed's. Uh, fire leader form which is actually from the fusion fight game and I did record the background for that I believe the video will be longer because of that because the 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 background itself is like really detailed or at least more detailed than I was intending for it to be uh, but for these I probably will start recording the background after this one I want to at least um, just start thinking about doing the backgrounds more because I, they, they do they really do help it to stand out a lot more than um, than without. Uh, so yeah, that's that's about it for the, the artwork itself. I remember last video I, I went over a little bit because I didn't know when the video was about to end. Uh, this video should be about 10 minutes uh, or so, so that should be good. Uh, so yeah, the Wild Force Battleizer is one of my favorites. Uh, it always again it always changes up from time to time because uh, I just I just I don't know. They're a really nice. They're a really nice concept. I like the Mystic Force Battleizer just because of the blue. Um, it stands out a lot, and it. I mean, sometimes it does look out of place, but I don't know. It, it's just a really nice uh, design. I really wish that we were getting more Battleizers um, with Power Rangers now. I feel like Ninja Steel could have a really really cool one um, for the Red Ranger, but I mean, you know, it happens. Uh, it's freaking. Uh, my mind just went blank there. I apologize. I, I don't I don't script any of these, as as you can probably tell. <laughs> I just I just go with the flow. I, I need to start writing down a, a sheet of paper so I can figure out uh, just in case because this video was actually wasn't supposed to be that long. Uh, my my old how to draw videos uh, were always at least I believe they were like three minutes, three or four minutes, mainly because I, I double sped up the video. Uh, which I might try to do here, it just takes a little bit longer. This video was actually recorded two weeks ago, I believe. I, re I recorded it right after I watched the Wild Force Battleizer debut, uh, but I procrastinated up until now, so I'm bringing this video to you now, uh, so that I don't have it on the back burner, because I've had videos on the back burner for like months and months, and ended up just not even uploading them, because once it's been months, it's not relevant anymore, no one's really gonna care all that much, so it's just like, you know, we might as well just trash this, you know, <laughs> might as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get this out because I am having a lot of fun with Wild Force. Um, it might actually be in my favorites right now, just because I love the characters. The only character I'm not too interested in all that much is Merrick, because, just because he hasn't really been as present in the show. Which, I mean, I get it, he's he's like the wolf ranger, you know, wolves, they, they walk alone. But at the same time, he's part of the team, and he doesn't really do all that much. Uh, especially in the um, in the, the, the Time Force crossover, which was so funny, I was talking about it on Twitter. He wasn't even in the episode at all until the fight, and he just sort of walked in like he was like some sort of special guest character on a sitcom. He's like, yo, what's up? He didn't even say a word. I just I was just like, okay, man, where have you been? And like, no one even acknowledged that he was gone. It, I don't know. It was. It's more funny than it is frustrating. But he, I just wish he was more present in the show, especially after the uh, the Zenaku uh, arc, which I wasn't really a fan of too much. It, it was. It. I just feel like it took too long. But I. I like. I like the design of his. Uh, of the suit. I love the Wolf Ranger suit. I love his. Uh, his dynamic. It's just. I wish he. Were, he was in the show more. Uh, is all. Uh, Dex. Dex. Wow. I, I don't ship them, <laughs> but I guess that would be the ship name. Uh, Danny and Max uh, are probably my favorite characters right now, just because I love their. Their whole never give up, sort of feel. Uh, I've heard that that is like exactly taken out of uh, Gal Ranger, which I'm not even going to get into because I haven't even seen Gal Ranger. But I've heard that Wild Force is like point blank the same thing. But uh, that's that's irrelevant right now. The, the point is, I love Danny and Max. Uh, Alyssa's cool. Uh, Taylor's cool. Cole's a Cole's a pretty good Red Ranger. I'll say that. Uh, yeah, all the characters are, are pretty are pretty neat. I like Wild Force. 
Um, I'm not sure how I would rank it. I don't really rank Power Rangers seasons just because I haven't seen all of them. Uh, but it, I feel like it, it definitely would be uh, in my top five for sure. Uh, plus, this, the theme song is is just one of my favorite theme songs, if not my favorite theme song at the moment, uh, right behind Jungle Fury. Uh, so yeah, and that's about it. There's the finished version. You can see I have the uh, the jungle theme, and then Wild Access or Wild. I don't remember. I'm not even looking at the actual finished version right now, but it's something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's the finished version. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite battleizer is and why from which season. Mine right now is Wild Force. It'll probably be Ninja Storm tomorrow. I don't. I mean, I don't really even know. But uh, yeah, that, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my my rambly goodness. I don't think I've rambled as much as I have in this video. So uh, yeah, I hope that was interesting. Um, let me know uh, what you think of this series and and the digital uh, thing that I'm doing now. And I will try to make more for that. The next video will probably be Ultraman Jeet's Fire Leader form. So look out for that whenever that comes up. Probably next week. I don't really even know. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you can follow me on Twitter, everything's in the description. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I cannot believe I just said like, comment, and subscribe. Wow. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> that was an accident. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.